As an architect, when you're presented with so much consistent design, you can go one of two ways. You can design something very contemporary and markedly different, or you can take your cue from the surrounding buildings and try to blend in. So the question has to be, what on earth were the planners thinking when they approved this? Mandy's house has a topsy-turvy layout, with bedrooms on the ground floor and living accommodation above. It generally feels quite a dark house, even though it should be really light and sunny. Mandy. Hi. It's always nice to see you. How are you? Come on out. Let's have a bigger look at your house. It's slightly embarrassing. Are you embarrassed by it? Yeah, absolutely, are you? absolutely. It's fascinating as well how you can have this lovely piece that of Victoriana yeah. with beautiful brickwork and lovely detailing, and then at a later date, they've gone, let's just build something really ugly next to it. And then I've just noticed your staggeringly awful conservatory. <laughs> and it's not like it's a kind of side extension or a rear extension. It's a full-blown front-of-house conservatory. It is. And the outside is... Very bad. Is, <laughs> is the inside worse? No, the inside is better. Is it? Good. Surprisingly. Come on, let's have a look. It is better. So this is it. Come on in. This is it. Home sweet home. Oh my God, it's dark. It's very dark. It's very really dark, dark isn't no it? There's no natural light. At least the bedrooms at the front of the property benefit from a couple of windows. But the worst offender is Mandy's bedroom at the rear. It's just amazing how many of these rooms don't work. So this is the master bedroom with a kind of external wall here with a lot of land behind it, so you can't put any windows in there. A tiny window in the corner, so it all feels very claustrophobic and dark and hemmed in. It's awful. It's honestly, it's one of the worst conservatories I've ever seen in my whole life. Thanks. The materials are completely wrong. This roof is just, it's greenhouse stuff. It is. It's and it leaks. Well, I'm not surprised. It's got underfloor heating. Has it? Yeah. Does it work? <laughs> I don't really know how to turn it on, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think it works. Oh, my word. You know, you really want to be able to link those internal spaces to this fantastic outside space. Yeah, absolutely. Honest. What's your budget? About 80,000. Is that the absolute limit? There is a bit called contingency. Okay. It's always going to have a bit of contingency. Yeah. Yeah, you could sell that conservatory for about eight quid, <laughs> just to top your budget up if you need to. OK, my budget is eight, 80,000 and eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> From its day-glow red brick exterior to its unsightly conservatory, the house stood out like a sore thumb. But when I caught up with Mandy eight months into the project, her home had been hugely transformed. The new brick facade nodded to the history of its surroundings with its diamond pattern, but felt bold and contemporary. Good morning, Hello. how are you? So nice to see you. Are you well? The entrance hall had been dark and foreboding, but by raising the roof and adding a huge skylight, it became much more welcoming. Yeah. The living room had felt shut off from the surrounding views. Whereas the new full height doors and windows gave it the outlook over the park it had been lacking. That is absolutely incredible. Funny enough, it feels bigger. And it's not smaller, because you've actually put this room in here, haven't you, for more yeah. storage linked to it to the kitchen. Yeah, I think because of the height of the windows it just made it feel a bit more spacious. Can we go onto the terrace? Yeah. Where there'd once been a cold and ugly conservatory, there was now a roof garden worth enjoying all year round. Beautiful. I cannot believe how lovely this terrace is. This is what it's all about. <laughs> the back of the house used to feel remote and isolated. The change was astonishing. Now that is just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. There's a lot of lovely things with this house that have been done so well. I think flipping the spaces round yeah. was a great thing to do, to put kitchen here and dining on the other side. And I love the window seat. Yeah. It's really beautiful, actually, to just be able to sit here, look out over the garden, 
I haven't sat there yet. <laughs> Go on, you should do it. It's not about me. You've never sat there. <laughs> oh, wow. I would never in a million years have thought of doing this.